Hey everyone, welcome to 21 Life Flux, the show of stuff and things and stuff. My name is Mike, and uh, hi. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I've actually done a video blog, and on top of that, it's also been a while since I've done a journal entry into my own personal journal. So what I'm going to do for this episode is I'm going to just mix them together. So welcome to the first episode of Dear Scott. Um, I guess some introductions are in order. Scott, YouTube, YouTube. This is Scott. He is my imaginary friend slash the person that I write my journal entries to. You know, instead of those people who are like, Dear journal, bloody 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 blah. No, I don't do that. I write letters to people. I write letters to Scott. And Scott, this is actually, I'm doing this uh, YouTube thing. I don't know if I told you already, 21 Life Flux. I probably did. Yeah. Anyway, but you'll understand. Cool. All right, so uh, now that introductions are taken care of, let's get started. The, I haven't done the video blog because I moved to back into my parents' house so that way I can get free rent while I go to college. And I haven't done a journal entry because I've just been having a slew of really bad days in a row. Let me tell you about a few. Part 1. Suddenly Puppets. Suddenly Puppets was a club that I was trying to start. It was about a group of people getting together, involving the community in giant puppet shows and making every friends and stuff. You know, basic club. So I write up this whole entire constitution and I give it over to one of my teachers. My teacher's supposed to look over it and stuff. She didn't get it back to me for a week, and during that week I needed it for a specific meeting thing that I ended up not going to anyway because I just lost momentum. On top of losing momentum, I really didn't have anyone backing me behind this other than the teachers, and I know that my teachers and my parents and my friends are all like, yeah, 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 we're all for your ideas, Mike, that's awesome! When it comes down to the actual work and doing things, I'm the only one doing things. Even though it's a great idea and it would be fun to actually have it set in motion, I just don't care now that there's no one really helping. Performance. There's this performance thing that we had to do in class the other day. It was a two to five minute presentation about the deep inner you. And I spent like hours and hours and hours trying to come up with something and eventually I scrapped it all and just did a completely BS thing. But in the BS thing I actually was better. So what does that say? Don't force creative ideas. Three. Making a fool of myself. So there's this person at school that I find attractive, so I went ahead and I was all like, I'm gonna tell that person. Oh, hey, uh, do you mind if I blatantly hit on you? Whoa, 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 what happened to the flashback? To tell you the truth, I really can't remember half of it. All I remember is it started off like this. I just wanted to compliment you on something. And ended like this. <laughs> Things that I learned. Make sure that they are interested back. Step number four. Not in class. So I'm supposed to be taking this class called costume design. So I was under the impression that I was actually in the class. Turns out I was not. So here's what I had to do. I had to take a letter stating that I was allowed into the class all the way to Design South to get it signed by the administration. Then I walked all the way to the other side of campus to have it signed by student registration. Student registration told me, and I quote, go back and have it re-signed because you're in the wrong class. And so I went all the way back across campus, back to the Design South, had it re-signed. Then I had to walk all the way back to student registrations again and have them actually put in. This should have been a process that took, what, five minutes ended up taking about 30. And the worst part is, I didn't even know that I had to do any of this until the day before the last day to register for a class. Expedition number five, this isn't Hogwarts. Just in case you don't know, these are the Vlogbrothers, Hank and John Green, and they came down to Phoenix, and it was kind of amazing because, uh, yeah. I thought it was amazing because it's not too often that you can actually talk to a video person from YouTube 
all that often because usually there's a screen right in front of them. John read some of his book, Hank sang, Hank and John sang, which is amazing because John doesn't sing. And then I felt like a stalker taking a bajillion pictures of them signing random crap. And I bet you're thinking, oh Mike, that wasn't bad. Ah, but here's where it gets bad. My backpack? My backpack? While I was at the Tour de Nerd fighting with Hank and John, my backpack ripped. The rip was devastating because I love that backpack. But guess what? Do you know what happens to things that cross? I pin its carcass to the wall. Oh, no, no, no. Weird. What I do is I take whatever broke, cannibalize it, and turn it into something new. I'm going to be making my own backpack, and it's going to be reminiscent of Pokemon. Don't judge me. That, all right, everyone, that's my journal vlog in a nutshell. i like to thank everyone for joining me today, and I will see all of you later. Or, in Scott's case, I'll write you later. So, uh...